reports of children getting sick from vaccines, mostly sixth graders who received the Tdap and meningitis vaccines. This is something no parent wants to hear. Now, doctors tell us that one in every 10 kids feel symptoms after receiving vaccines. WSBT Suzanne Spencer joins us now at the live desk. And Suzanne, what type of reaction are we talking about? We're hearing reports of fever, vomiting, and nausea, but a local doctor says not to worry. Many kids experience these symptoms after receiving vaccines. It's been a busy summer for Michael Burris, and he doesn't want to be in the doctor's office. I've been working with my dad, trying to save up for a laptop. He's getting his vaccines for sixth grade. When I had my first shot, it wasn't even bad at all. I felt like somebody just kind of poked me a little bit. Michael is one of thousands of sixth graders who have to get a shot for meningitis, the chickenpox booster, and Tdap, a tetanus and pertussis shot. Several local children reported nausea and vomiting after receiving the shots. That's a short-term consequence. It doesn't leave any permanent issues. But catching one of these diseases is really, really bad. Dr. Jesse Say is a family doctor in Granger, and he says all shots will produce some sort of reaction. But he says it's very unlikely that these shots will cause severe reactions. Most of them will go away within days, you know, either a day or a few days. Dr. Say says if your child does have a reaction to any shot, to wait it out a few days and give them ibuprofen if they have a fever. If symptoms persist more than a few days, he says to bring them to a local doctor. There are two new vaccines for this school year, the hepatitis A vaccine for kindergartners and the meningitis booster for seniors in high school. Yes, yeah, Suzanne, you talk about that the state requires certain vaccines for students, but you know, Parents worry. I worry about my kids getting an adverse reaction from those shots. Dr. Say wanted to emphasize, Rick, it's ultimately the parents' decision, but he says data shows the risk of the disease is much lower with vaccines than if the child had gotten the disease and never had vaccines. At the live desk, Suzanne Spencer, WSBT, Channel 22 News.